Helmut Schmidt chain-smoked his way through German history. Rarely without a signature cigarette close to his razor-sharp pursed lips, he was one of the giants of West German and European politics. Like so many other German politicians of his vintage, his wartime experience as a frontline soldier convinced him of the importance of a peaceful and integrated Europe. A member of the Social Democratic Party, he served as finance, economics and defence minister before being elected as chancellor after his predecessor, Willy Brandt, was forced to resign because of a spying scandal. Britain took real notice of Helmut Schmidt during the first and last referendum on British membership of the EU. Schmidt was drafted by the Labour Party conference to convince a sceptical audience that Britain should stay in. But all I want really to say is only this, and even at the risk of a walkout, your comrades on the continent want you to stay, and you, please, will have to uh, weigh. He was also one of the founding fathers of the euro, helping to create the European monetary system on which the euro was later founded in 1979. Angela Merkel, embroiled in the greatest domestic crisis of her chancellorship, caused by the swelling ranks of migrants and refugees, will, one assumes, miss his advice in these uncertain times. Tonight she said this. Helmut Schmidt was a political institution of Germany and was for me a person whose authority and advice meant a lot. His greatest political test arguably came in 1977, when Schmidt ordered the storming of a Lufthansa jet in Mogadishu, Somalia, by German special forces. The plane had been hijacked by members of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. Their aim to force the Bonn government to release prominent members of the German Bader-Meinhof terrorist group. The news of the raid was followed by the suicide of the three members of the group still in jail. The incident cemented Schmidt's image as a tough politician, at a time when West Germany's reputation was still as an economic giant but a political dwarf. The man they nicknamed Schmidt the Lip spent the last three and a half decades of his life not just as respected elder statesman, but also as the co-publisher of Germany's most worthy weekly paper, Die Zeit, offering wisdom and withering wit, always through a cloud of smoke.